All right, it is the 19th of spring. So let's see what's going on on our cooking channel. Clam linguine. And what can we craft? The wall cabinet. I've been wanting to make a wall cabinet. I, let's see how much wood we have left. We're also going to move our things inside, everything except the sawmill. Now that we have room inside our home. So let's just see if we have enough wood. to um, make a wall cabinet. And we're going to put our storage unit over here as though it's a piece of furniture. I need to pick this up first. There we are. And now we'll put that on top of it. Do a little redecorating. And we will put our anvil here. There we have it. And we can just throw our little paint set. Oh, how bizarre. There's room. There's room there. I don't know why it won't. Oh well. Leave it in our backpack for now. Uh, let's see. We're going to go out and move our sawmill. I don't want it just hanging out. <laughs> Like hanging out in the middle of the grass. This will be our last little move. Put this here. There we go. All right, so that is that. And of course, we're going to get the next bigger house and have to do all this again, but that's okay. And our empty barn, we need 4,600 more before we can get our horse. Yeah, still have a ways to go with that. All right, so I think mm, we only have 10 smoky wood and we don't want to use up our brown wood. So we can't make our cabinet right now. Uh, let's see, we got Jim and I, we need cancer before we can, before we can move forward with that. We can give this one to Harsha, but we really need to go ahead and get cancer. And it's been a few days since I played, so I'm not really sure what, other than um, getting the tablets, what was I up to? Let's see, we, we've got it. Waiting for those to be harvested. And this bag is for Dahlia. All right. And we've got a lot of stuff that needs to go to the museum. Okay, so that's what's going on there. All right, I want to get, still they're not harvestable. Well, at least I don't have to water today. I want to get over to the waterfall and get another tablet and get some peaches. The peaches um, will grow in spoony. I can't grow a peach tree here in Pumpkin Vale, but I can in Spoonie, so I want to get, honestly, so I want to get um, a peach so that I can make a seed and put it in my seed box for next year when I'm living in Spoonie. All right, so. We will do that today. We'll go to the waterfall. We'll go to the peach plot, peach tree spot. Be great if I can make it to two of the um, tablets today. But the ones that are left are deep in, in mines and
they're not really close in proximity all right Dahlia here's your package you're very welcome okay let's go and grab this one that will be that a lot of recycling which is good we need that so what did that bring us up to five thousand <laughs> and we don't have any we can sell that now I'm just looking for things to sell the closer we get to that nine thousand I just want to sell everything just to get the money <laughs> just to get money in our pockets put our extra backpack up there yeah and this just would not let me put that down I don't know why all right so let's get to the waterfall it's a long run We'll pick up some things along the way. There may be some flowers that we don't already have for the museum. And we have a bug net now, so we might also try to catch a few things. I'm just not really, really good at this. I think I'm right over it and I'm nowhere near it. <laughs> It just flies away like you weren't even close. You're not getting me. Alright, so that's two. That's two new insects for the museum. I don't think I've turned in either of those yet. Now there's a lot of spiders. Yes, spiders. Along this um, trail that takes me to the waterfall. And I don't think I've turned in any of the Black Widows. So we will take a look and see if we can't grab one of those. They're going to be in this little flower patch that we um, are going to run through close to. Ooh, there's some pretty ones. Can we get that one? So it's going to take us even longer to get to the waterfall if I keep stopping for every butterfly. But I like that one. That one's really pretty. Let's see, can we get this one? And this is just going to add to our museum collection. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Off we go. Oh, there's a black widow. Okay. So. We're going to either get the butterfly or the, or the spider, one or the other. Got the spider. Okay, so that was a pretty butterfly though. Zebra swallowtail. We'll have to catch you at another time. Alright, so we got the spider. So let's get on to the waterfall. So like I said, it's a bit of a run. And a piddly d re... Um, redecorating so that took up quite a bit of our morning as usual I've got to get better about getting up and going to do what I have to do and then come back and do things around the house I have to flip that scheduling yes I am all right we're gonna have to ignore the rest of these little flying insects and everything We may try to get a few things on our way back. But right now we need to get to the waterfall. It's almost three. It's going to be getting dark soon. I do wish they observed daylight saving time. <laughs> that it got dark a little later. Oh, look at that though. What is that? What the heck are you? Why am I picking up flowers when I'm trying to capture this big old bug? <laughs> that was huge. Wow. But I do want these camellias. Definitely want these camellias. Okay. Oh, too late. 
I saw it too late. So that's the patch of flowers I was talking about that has tons of spiders. So that was, I saw at least four different spiders there. This is a good fishing spot too. I tend to catch different, um, the more unique, harder to catch fish here than at the fishing spots right by town. All right, so we're gonna run up under the waterfall. Yeah, it's gonna, I think I'm gonna go do the peaches first because it's gonna be dark when we come back this way. Let's see, where's the peach opening? Is this it? Wherever you see those vines, there are special trees. Remember that. Whenever you come across one of those vines, there's something special nearby. So let's cut through this boulder. Because it's going to be dark when we come back from the waterfall and I don't want to try to find this area and find the peaches on the ground. So let's go ahead and take care of this little bit of business right now. All right, so we've made it through the rock. Here are the peach trees. And we have a box to dig up. Excellent, excellent. I could not be more pleased. I um, would have to ship off a bunch of my coconuts or a bunch of sunflowers to get the oil press. So it would be a while <laughs> before I'd be able to get the oil press and um, make cooking oil. So now I have 40 of them for my stash. All right, and it's six o'clock, so it's getting dark. All right, let's go get up under the waterfall. Is that everything? Here's one more. So these peaches are gonna go in my storage, and one of them is going to be a seed for my peach tree when I move to Spoonie. All right, so on our way out, we'll grab a few things to sell. We're not going to have a lot to put in our box tonight, so we're going to grab a few flowers to put in our box so that we have a f little money because we are closing in on our 9,000, so whatever we can get each night is getting us closer to a horse. There's a really strange invisible wall around here as well like when you're on your horse there's a couple of spots on this path we're coming up on one that are lighter and the horse has trouble it just sometimes it'll just stop as though there's an invisible wall so you sometimes have to get off of your horse like around here and walk the rest of the way to the waterfalls so it's just something that happens. I'm not sure it's intended to, but it, it does. So we'll get these orchids. I don't believe we've put any of those into the museum. We had a different orchid. I think it was a pink one. So we'll take these purple ones and we'll sell the rest. Well, actually it looks pink in um, the photo. It looks purple on on the vine. Maybe the same one we've already donated. We just hit a different um, patch of them somewhere. All right, so we're just gonna go behind the waterfall. There's gonna be a box and there's gonna be a tablet. Treasure, we love treasure. So let's go get the treasure. Okay, I see the box. Come on. And we got grape jam and a lot of it, so that's good too. 
I think we're going to sell, we're going to put that in our box. Okay, where is, there it is. And that is our Sagittarius. All right, so now we're going to run all the way back home to Pumpkin Vale, put a couple things in our box. And so we might try to get some more wood from the other plot of land. Or maybe we'll cut down a couple of trees on the way back home. Um, the wood that's on the way to the museum, it's like a peach wood or an orange wood. It makes really pretty cabinets. Once it's planked up, it makes some really nice cabinets. So maybe I'll grab a couple of those on the way home. I hope I have my axe with me. I may not though. Try to carry as little as possible. Nope, don't have my axe. Oh well, it was, in the, it was a thought. I'd have to go home first and uh, probably go back to that same farm plot near Tierra between me and Tierra and get some more wood from there so that I can make a cabinet, a wall cabinet for some more storage space. I'll be really happy when the refrigerators show up in um, the home improvement store. They hold a lot and I can put all my food in them. But they cost 2000 so if I can build myself something, I prefer to build myself something right now. That's what we'll do when we get home. We'll have a couple of hours before we have to put the girl to bed. And we will sort what's in our bag. I'm pretty sure all of the insects are going to the museum and most of the flowers. We may have one or two repeat flowers that we've already taken. We're going to go to Diamond Falls soon and start gathering our dinosaur artifacts. That is really going to boost the percentage of the museum that's complete. There are tons and tons of dinosaur bones. I think there's three, I know there's a stegosaurus, there's a mammoth. I think there's three different dinosaurs that we um, put back together, maybe four. So there's lots of pieces to them. So I'm looking forward to grabbing those up and just boosting that percentage of um, museum completion. Well, hello there. What are you doing out here at night? Oh, Pumpkin Jack. Oh, yeah, he's <laughs> the forest spirit. Pumpkin Jack, how you do? How you do? He doesn't like people. That's okay. We don't mind. Okay, ooh, different spider, but I was too slow to realize that I was looking at a spider. So get my net out. We'll just go on with what we have. Just put some of these flowers into the shipping container. I thought I was past the days of having to uh, grab flowers for money, but <laughs> Since it took me all day just to go over there and get um, the tablet, I didn't have a chance to do anything else profitable. We'll go and do some recycling as well. So that at least we'll have a little money coming in in the morning. It's almost midnight, so gonna have to get a wiggle on. Need to get a wiggle on. We don't have any cookies to speed us along. Yeah, 
Up we go. Up over the hill. Try not to run into any trees in the dark. I wish we could have, um, like these lights on our property. I have to see if um, there are any recipes for those, any diagrams for those on the TV, because I would definitely make myself a couple of those. Let's see what's in our bag that has to go to the museum. Okay, we knew the fish did. So yeah, it looks like all the bugs I caught. But as far as the flowers, we don't, let's put you over here. As far as the flowers go, we don't need, of course we don't need violets. We've done those a lot. We only need one of the orchids. We need one of the spirea. We can put a lot of those in. And Cinegella. We could put three of those in. So the rest of this, that stays. We don't need those. That stays. This stays. This stays. This stays. Do we need one of those? Yes. That stays. We keep the fish. We're going to do our recycling. We can put this in there. We can put this in there. We're going to put all but, yeah, 10 of these. We'll keep 10 of those. Uh, we'll keep this, this, and this. We have fish, 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 horseradish. I don't think we need that horseradish. We have quite a bit of horseradish in our storage bin. It's taking up space, so I think we can get rid of that. We have a few herbs. I don't think we have enough yet to do another big spice thing. Again, we want to have even amounts. And are those flowers done? Let's just take a quick look. No, they're not. So we'll run over, do our recycling, get those vouchers into our shipping container. And see if we can get some wood on our way home. Oh, we can't. I forgot to grab my, my axe. I try to keep my tools on me except when I'm going to the mines because you just get so much stuff I want to have as many open um, spaces in my bag as possible. So unfortunately I did take my um, axe out of my bag. All right, so let's just um, I'll put that up here, actually. We're going to have a lot of vouchers. That's good. That adds up. That adds up really nicely. All right, at 20 per, we're going to have at least a little cash coming in. We're not as close to that 9,000 as I'd like to be. How much are these worth? 40. Oh, well, I put 30 of those in. I sure did. That is going to be a nice payday. Those are worth 30 each. Now I'm tempted to put all 40 in, <laughs> but that's not something I'll be able to make myself very easily. And so I'll hold on to some in case I get um, request on the board for it. 
I already have some in my inventory. So it looks like we gotta go to the museum tomorrow. So what I think I'll do is go get one of the other tablets that are near Spoonie. I should be able to find my way up the back way and um, get into that area. It's a cave. It's um, It's inside of a mountain. The water side of it is opposite Spoonie. All right, here's my storage box. Now I have to find everything. I'm not used to uh, used to my layout yet. You know, everything's going to be new for a minute. Because yeah, I have a lot of horseradish. Okay, that's an odd number. This is an even number. We're going to move this pet food. I don't think I'm getting a dog this time. I should put that pet food into the um, into the bin. I don't know what's going on with that, but <laughs> it stayed, so I'm going to put it there. <laughs> Crazy place, but it stayed. Okay, we're going to grab that and get these three. That's all our museum stuff. All right, we'll go throw those in the bin. We'll put whatever we can in here, but we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to build ourselves some storage pretty quickly. Take that and let's put the oil. I think I'm going to go ahead. I really want that 9,000. I'm going to go ahead and sell that fish. That should bring in a little bit of money. And what else? I think that's all I can sell. All I want to sell. I could empty my box. I could sell these strawberries. <laughs> I think I will. Throw these strawberries in there. Get rid of these fish. Our seasonings. And the pet food. Alright, so hopefully that is going to give us enough money to buy our horse tomorrow. And then we'll go chop some wood. We'll go to get another tablet. We'll go to the museum, drop off a bunch of stuff. So we got a busy day again tomorrow. All right, we learned our two recipes and good night. And we want to be up early. I like to be up at around eight. That way it's easy for me to remember when I need to come back home. So we're gonna let this tick to eight. If I'm consistent, with my poor memory, it just helps help myself a little bit <laughs> using the same time of day consistently. Meteor Ho. It's a good recipe to have. All right, it's raining, so I will not have to water my trees or my crops. Still don't have those flowers. Still don't have those flowers. We are going to um, notice those strawberries still floating. Actually, I don't need the honey either. Honey is one of those things you get pretty easily. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of some of this easy to find stuff. I need 20 wood. That's really only like one tree. So, we will first grab our mail. Okay, 2000. So now Eddie wants to do beer barrels, but you have to ship 
a hundred bags of um, barley and bags of barley are you have to have a windmill to turn it from the barley plant into a bag of barley the windmills are five thousand dollars and we don't have one yet we don't have a windmill we've done all of our quotas our quotas are done so we don't need milk or eggs and they won't they don't sell seeds for um, any of the Wahoo Beach or Spoonie trees here it's unfortunate that I could can't get to the Wahoo Beach Festival or market I don't have enough for a horse if I had enough for a horse a couple of uh, corn dogs would have been handy today <laughs> like three of them maybe I could have sold them and been able to finally get my horse instead we are going to spend money on fast travel today we're gonna to go up to the museum empty our backpack then we're gonna to go to Wahoo Beach we didn't do our fast travel spot to Spoonie unfortunately so we're gonna to have to travel the long way to get this tablet it's pretty unfortunate because it's a long way from Wahoo Beach but we will um, activate the fast travel spot on Spoonie today all right 20% nice very nice So we're going to run back over here and get the uh, fast travel to Wahoo Beach. We'll check out their market, hopefully, since we're it's only going to take us an hour. The market is going to be open. Well, so that's a plus. That's a plus. We can go up to the market. See what they have. Actually, they won't have any seeds either for their um, trees. I need to go to the garden center. Let's go to the garden center. She should be open since we're here in the middle of the day. Let's see what she has. I would love to get a few seeds. I know I'm spending my money for my um, horse, but um, we'll just get one of each seed that she has. And hopefully when we get our farm going on Spoonie when we grow some of these things we can um, make more seeds ourselves like the jalapenos they regrow so planting one seed is plenty it will regrow and I can make seeds from that if I wanna if I want to all right, so let's go. This is going to be another long run, but um, I want to get this tablet out of the way so that when Harsha gets to it in her list, I'll already have it. There's a really hard to get to spot up here too. Let's see if we can make it. There's a uh, rare flower. It's called the Jade Vine. And it grows up here in these trees. And it's really hard, the angle that their roots and everything are at, it's really hard to get these, but I'll go ahead and get it now so that I can get that into the museum too. 
get requests for those too of all things they're really hard to get <laughs> you get requests for them and uh, they don't grow they don't respond very quickly you have to wait a long time for them to respond all right let's go see Spoonie let's go see my friends on Spoonie we're not going to swim across to the cave we're going by land that's why it's going to take us so long to get there because we're going by land I prefer to enter this particular um, cave from the rocks versus the water. All right, we're just gonna see if we can see a few of our peeps. Say hi to Corin if he's working. It's 2.54, so a mayor should be in the cafe. They don't have a market on Spoonie. So market day isn't uh, a thing. Let me um, activate my fast travel spot. There's Lucas. Hi, Lucas. I am new here. I know you're not. You live with your mom, Mickey. She makes you do chores. And everybody on the island are like your aunts and uncles. So they all boss you around yeah it's hard being the only teenager isn't it that's all right that's all right they they just do it because they care they want you to grow up and be a responsible young man all right so there's nobody on the beach let's go see if everybody's at the cafe hello poppy how are you nice to meet you poppy Yes, it is quite lovely here. Hi, Meredith. I'm not touching you. <laughs> She's known to hit people with her purse. She is a trip. Hi, Tony. Oh, Meredith. And Tony is super helpful. Here's the mayor. Hi, Mayor Fern. Yeah. You have two rules. Rule number one, don't question anyone's limitations if they tell you no. Rule number two, remember that who, however long it takes you to do a task, it probably takes a Spoonie four times longer. Bonus rule, beware of the Spoonie Island's native mushrooms. If ingested, we may actually start to look like dinosaurs or waffles or some kind of dino hybrid, waffle hybrid. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Have you seen Luke, 15, easily distracted, will talk your ear off? No? Well, he'll come home when he's hungry. <laughs> oh my God, my spoony people. Hi, Forrest. Yes, you live here with your sister, Olive. You're all into the gluten-free. Hi, Olive. Welcome to Spoony. And there's, oh, Nikki. Nikki, you in the way. Nikki, my goodness. No, I'm not from the mainland. I'm from Pumpkin Vale. Uh oh, I'm missing Corin. Hi, Corin. I need to give you 20 iron bars. That's what I need. Um, but basically, he's just uh, a creator, an inventor. And he tries to make things to help people. And I do appreciate that. All right, so let's grab a sorrel and a zinnia and some lemongrass and all the goodies and lots of ginger. And we got to go over the hill and get some mariposas and um, what is it, Madeira, I think. And I know I'm spending too much time doing this. I've got to go down into that cave. But Spoonie is a long way, so I try to make the most out of my visits before before I have a horse. All right, and there's the Mariposa. The Madeira is over here. And there we go. We've got each of the flowers, got some of the herbs. 
think I missed a few herbs. That's okay. But we're going over there across the water. That little light spot right there. That is the entrance to the cave. And like I said, we're going by land. So it'll be very late when we come back to catch the bus home. There it is, cumin. That's what I wanted. That's what I was missing. And vanilla. And more sorrel. Sorrel is supposed to be a cooking ingredient, but I haven't received any of those recipes before. So I try not to pick up too much of it. I guess I could sell it. But I just try to not pick up too much of it. Alright, let's get across this bridge and get up this hill. I have some pie, I mean some banana pudding, but I'm not sure if that gives me a tennis shoe. It doesn't. Oh well. It just gives me a full bar. Many of the sweets will give you that tennis shoe that makes you run faster. But mostly it's cookies. That's fine. When you leave this cave, you do have to make sure you have 100% of your stamina or you're going to drown. So here we go. And of course, it's going to be dark when I get there. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself. Do other things when I have a goal in mind and um, knowing it's time consuming to get get it done. But I do want to get this tablet. Um, the last couple of tablets are definitely going to be after horse is acquired. There's no way I'm going to run to those. So get, getting the ones out of the way that I can run to. Alright, we need to go up. And over into the valley where the deer are. We want to go where the deer are. All right. Where are the deer? Usually when I jump off of here, the deer look up like startled. <laughs> I can't even see them. Oh, it's because I went the wrong way. There's no deer here. I miss the deer. Yeah. I miss the deer. I um I went past the deer. So we'll just grab a few things here since we've made the the mistake of coming down in here. I may have to repeat this trip. It's almost as bad as finding the cherry trees. You miss your turn, you have to start all over practically. All right, where are the deer? Uh-oh. Don't want to fall in the wrong hole. Nope, we've completely come the wrong way. We are going to abandon this attempt to get this tablet and we're going to go and activate this fast travel and take it back to Pumpkinvale. This is the tundra. This is where um, 
Oops, no, let's not travel. Let's go get a couple of dinosaur pieces since we made this mistake. I'm not sure. There may be a tablet here. Over by the fishing spot. I, we shall see. We're going to go all the way in. So this is um, Scorpion Heaven. But there's also dinosaur bones. They're easy to run over because they're just the little mounds. There's a scorpion. Here's a bone. So yeah, we might as well make use of this. We um we got off track running for the cave. Because, of course, I can't see worth anything after dark. So we'll take advantage of this. This is not a good place to come on your horse because the rocks are hidden in the grass and they stumble a lot. And, of course, if you're not on low difficulty, you'll also be getting attacked by scorpions and they will bite you while you're on your horse. So it's not a... Not really a good place to ride into. It's better to walk. It's a really good fishing spot though. It's a little late for fishing. We can come back though. We've activated the fast travel spot. And I'm not sure. I want to go all the way to the end to see if there is a either a box or a tablet. I don't think there's a tablet here. I think there's just a box. Nothing in here. Because of course, again, I can't see where I'm going. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's no fun. It's no fun not being able to see I wish we could have torches or, um, again, just to be able to select in the options uh, less darkness like we can in the caves. Dial it back some. Here's the box. Here's the box. More conundrum. All right, so those can go into the shipping container. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to dial down it after 6 p.m. It just gets too dark, in my opinion. It just gets too dark. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be as dark on the recordings as it is in play, in, during gameplay. I can actually see my character and everything in, in the videos much better than I can see the ground here that I'm running her over. So that's okay. That helps. Alright, so there's the fishing spot. So I'm going to run all the way around over here. Make sure there's not another box and there's not a tablet. Over here. Okay, now it's just dinosaurs. I know there's spots over here. All right, and we'll go back and go around the other side, and then we're going to go down to the fast travel and get out of here. There's cactuses that you can pick if you like that southwestern decor theme. And you can take them and put them on your property. Um, I think they grow on all farms. Like you can grow them in um, Spoonie, Wahoo, or Pumpkin Vale. Alright, so that's all of the... Uh, mounds that I can see. So it was just that box. 
I'll try to see if I see anything on the way back to the transportation. We're going to go on this side of that hump this time. That rock. There's one. Here's one. So we'll have quite a few dinosaur pieces for the museum, at least. Going off track, and there's a cactus. I'm not going to pick it. I don't, um, don't like the way they look. I planted some on my farm before, and they didn't really jive with the flowers um, that I had around my bee box. I had them where my cows and, and horses and chickens and everything were, and they didn't seem to care about them, so there was no, no advantage to having them. And there's one. Okay, I better get out of here because we got up at eight. We have a couple hour tramp, um, ride to get home. So let's get down to the fast travel. I will have to come back here again because these all do respawn. The relics, the artifacts respawn. So they may be completely different pieces of the dinosaur the next time I come through here. And I also like to fish here. It's a really good fishing spot. Catch some of the harder to find fish. Okay, I think that's all. So let's put our shovel away. Hop on the little shuttle. Head back to civilization. And again, I always want to call it the frozen tundra. <laughs> but that's not what it's called. It's something tundra. Let's see what the sign says. Trop topical tundra. This is the topical tundra. All right, so let's get back to, uh, we're not going to have time to put anything else in the box. It's after six. We're going to pretend to sleep for two hours. <laughs> and that will be that. We will have to adventure out again for more tablets. We still need to get the cancer one. I think that's the one that's in the swamps, which is also another big run. But hopefully we'll have enough money in that ma mail. Finally, these flowers are done. And hopefully we'll have enough money in the mail to get our horse. And we can go get some of these further away tablets. All right, let's um, go ahead and get some sleep. <laughs>